Mission Greetings everybody, John here with Wiki Game Guides, and this is the fifth mission of my perfect stealth zero kills S-ranking walkthrough for Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, choose the the latest 1800 uh, time or time of day to do this mission and then choose that uh, uh, the drop point that I showed the mission in. Actually if you choose that one, at the very beginning of the mission as you're running to the objective you're gonna run into a giant brown bear and uh, he is a fucking beast man. Holy shit he's hard to take down with trank darts. It takes like a solid 10 shots to the head uh, to knock him out cold and I think like stun guns are actually better or weapons that stun like uh, they shoot bean bags I think or something like that are, are actually much better for taking out large animals like that um, anyway so this to me is the perfect mission that shows like oh like how much of a difference uh, two different um, drop points can make because the first time I played this, I, I remember this mission being very, very difficult and taking a long time to get up to the base and not realizing that there's these two very easy cracks or that that one very easy crack to climb, to climb up and get right into the back of the base and basically skip uh, you know, the large majority of the enemies on this mission. But my first time through the game, I chose the other drop point and uh, it was like insanely difficult and took me a long freaking time But now I mean it's also could just comes with experience like you know, being able to burn through a mission really quickly uh, This is also a good example of uh, Also uh, uh, it shows a couple different things uh, Borokin I believe is how he said or how you say his name asked on the comments of one of the first videos for this walkthrough uh, If an enemy sees a Fulton extraction and goes on to alert will that stop you from getting an S rank? No uh, it will not. Now, if an enemy sees a Fulton and goes on an alert, then um, it will not stop you from getting an S rank, and it will also not stop you from getting perfect stealth no kills. The only thing that's going to stop you from getting perfect stealth no kills, that, that bonus, is um, getting seen or getting a kill. And you can still get an S rank while not getting that perfect stealth no kills bonus. But it's very difficult, and uh, you have to really do something special to get the perfect or to, to to get an S rank and not get the perfect stealth no kills. So, saying that this is a perfect stealth no kills walkthrough is basically just an extra challenge. It's not required to get an S rank at any point, but it's certainly I don't know. It's for the stealth game purist, I guess, in in me that wants to make this walkthrough perfect stealth no kills. So, uh, and this is also a good mission to show how you know so there's two extra well, I'm, I'm completing two bonus objectives on this mission um, that you don't necessarily need to do that will help your overall score and get you a little bit more money as well which is always very nice because money will be in short supply when you have a ton of upgrades and are spending it on recruiting and stuff like that or no you don't spend it on recruiting you spend it on like upgrades and weapons and all that kind of stuff um so the first one is I extracted that second prisoner that was just trying to escape. Uh, I believe he gets found if you don't find, like he gets, uh, the, the bad guys realize that he escaped and they search for him and I think they kill him if you don't get there quickly enough, which will be a common thing that's going to happen through quite a few missions in this game where if you're trying to save extra prisoners, that you have to do it relatively quickly in the mission. Um, but uh, again, the the bonus objectives, those are going to be a separate set a separate series of videos because uh, it's just, it'll just be easier to do it that way because they're not required for making these or for getting an S rank but they certainly help um, and then also uh, there's a bonus objective for Fulton extracting that prisoner down there the, the main objective through a hole in the roof which I'll show you exactly how to do in just a second and that like just kind of the novelty of that's pretty fun oh freaking D-Dog <laughs> knocked that guard in the legs and nearly got me caught. No, freaking crazy dog. Um, oh man. So, and I obviously do, like, you don't need to Fulton extract a lot of these extra guys, uh, but I am recruiting so many extra guys for my base that it's like, why not? Like, I... I, I need as many guys as I can. I, the freaking online just started working. Two weeks after the damn game came out, the online started working 
on the Xbox One, which is completely ridiculous. So I finally constructed my first forward operating base, and I am Fulton extracting people like absolutely crazy in this game now. Like I spent an hour just running around Fultoning people, and I got uh, the bonus thing for Fulton extracting 500 people. I still think I need to get up to a thousand Fulton extractions to get the master certificate or something like that to get. Eventually, you unlock like a. Uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but at, you, you get a new type of Fulton um, when you, uh, after you extract a thousand people. So that hole that I just uh, extracted the, the guard from, that's the one that you need to get this guy out of. And if, for whatever reason, like, you manage to screw this up, it, I mean, or put him down in, like, just an inch off and not the right spot, it'll still say, like, 0%, it'll say 0% chance of success of extracting him. Uh, but, um, I would, like, if it's, I can't imagine, uh, I think if you wait too long, there'll be bad weather that comes in, but if you don't have a 100% chance of extracting this guy, I would not, I, like, I would wait out the weather, because, <laughs> I mean, it was just, if there's a 70%, well, I guess, I don't know, because if, if you wait too long, you're not going to get a time bonus. Hmm. Well, anyway, if you follow what I did here, you will extract him quickly enough to the point where there won't be weather. I, I'm pretty sure the weather for these missions follows a set pattern, meaning that you should see, like, if weather comes in on my game, you know, five minutes into a mission, then it'll come in on your game five minutes into a mission kind of thing. I'm not completely sure, actually. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Um, so now that the mission, or not, not that the main objective is over, I'm just gonna book it off to the extraction point, cut out a little bit of running, edit out some running, and then uh, mission complete. So uh, if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a like and a comment. It helps me out a lot. If you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to subscribe for more updates from Metal Gear Solid 5, and game on.